The federal government of Nigeria has set up a coronavirus interministerial multi-sectorial preparedness and response committee to plan and come up with strategies for the prevention of the importation of the virus into the country. The committee is also expected to put in place an action plan for joint response in the event that importation does occur to ensure its containment. The Minister of Health, Dr. Sagi Ehanire, made this known in Abuja while briefing the press and the level of Nigeria's preparedness for the emergency situation recently. He said in view of the WHO's declaration of the virus as a global public health emergency, there is a need for collaborative, inclusive, coordinated and increased surveillance and response system activation. Joining us via telephone to discuss this issue is a medical practitioner, Dr. Tukumbo Babajide. Thank you for joining us. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, thank you for your time this morning. Um, WHO has declared coronavirus as a global emergency. Where are we as a nation? Are we safe? As it is, saying it's a global public emergency means that everybody is at risk. But what we can confirm and what we know that it is, is not in Nigeria. The most important thing for us as citizens of Nigeria is the one not to panic. But understand that with adequate preparedness, we can protect. The government has done a lot of significant in terms of um, awareness, ensuring that as individuals, things we can't joke is what we call a field. That's our precaution. These are very simple and hygiene. It's very important at this time. The other thing we need to look out for are symptoms in those that possibly have So we have friends that have traveled, that have history of traveling to areas where the diseases have been detected. You want to know if any of them have symptoms. And what are these symptoms? They are very all right. Common cold up until okay. severe respiratory. The, the severe line respiratory seems treatment. to be breaking. Can, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Just conclude your thoughts on that so we go on. Can you say that again, please? Okay, I was just saying you should conclude your thoughts. I didn't hear the last part of what you said. Okay, so. I spoke about the symptoms, commonly common cold. And then the symptoms can then progress to severe respiratory distress. Okay. So we have a large community of Chinese in Lagos, for instance, and the state government has asked that people coming in from China or Chinese who have come back home to self-quarantine themselves. How effective do you think this will be, especially if they've passed through the population to get to their homes? That's a very good question. The government needs to play an important role in monitoring and enforcing that they are quarantined. Because if you tell somebody to self-quarantine, you, you need to monitor and ensure that this happens. And I think we need to learn from what other countries are doing. Like you said, we have a large population. And once the disease spreads, it's going to be a problem. It's not difficult to contain. It then begins to spread from community to community. And we don't want our health system to be overwhelmed. All right. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your time with us on the news this morning. Absolutely. It's my pleasure.